click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the electronic configuration of D-block elements and in that case we have got to know that is the chromium and the copper, these are the two elements which show the abnormal electronic configuration. So why they exhibit abnormal electronic configuration, this is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, in the previous lecture as we have discussed about the electronic configuration of chromium and copper. So in that case we have got to know that is the chromium, suppose if I am talking about chromium. So chromium has an atomic number of 24. So based on that we could write the electronic configuration as argon 18. We could write it here as 4s2 3d4. So this is actually the expected electronic configuration if we would observe that is the general electronic configuration how to fill the electrons but this is not the valid electronic configuration the reason behind that is because as we can see over here that is the d orbital it consists of basically four electrons so for that suppose if we talk about the orbital that is it consists of that is the d subshell consists of five orbitals so one two three this is four and this is fifth so if we observe that is the d orbital it consists of four electrons so that's the reason i would write it over here as one two three and four and for s orbital that is for four s orbital it consists of two electrons but it has been also observed that is the energy difference between the 3d and the 4s orbitals is very much less that's the reason that one of the electron can be shifted to this d orbital the reason behind that is it has been observed that is if the d orbital suppose if it is incomplete suppose it is halfly filled or suppose if it is completely filled then it has been stated as a stable electronic configuration or then it is stated as a stable orbital so based on that if we talk about here that is here it consists of four electrons while talking about the s orbital it is already stable by acquiring the two electrons but since we understand that is the d orbitals are those orbitals which have degeneracy and that's the reason that one electron from the 4s orbital can be shifted to this d orbital and that's the reason that the electronic configuration will now be a stable electronic configuration and that is how basically the chromium which would have the electronic configuration as 4s2 3d4 it will now be turned into argon 18 4s1 because one of the electron it will be shifted to the empty d orbital making the d orbital to have five electrons or we could also say that is incomplete electrons or half filled electrons in this d orbital and that's why this one is the most stable electronic configuration and this was the reason behind why the chromium has abnormal electronic configuration so this was related to chromium and now let me talk about the next one that is for copper. Suppose if we write the electronic configuration of copper, so therefore we could write it here as copper 29, argon 18, we could write it here as 3d9, 4s2. So this is the expected electronic configuration. But if we talk about the d orbital, so in this case we will get to know that is the d orbital consists of, that is suppose if I am talking about the 3d subshell so in this case we will get to know that is this is 3d and suppose if this is i'm going to talk about that is 4s suppose so the 4s consists of two electrons so therefore i would write it over here as two electrons while the d orbital or d subshell consists of that is nine electrons so therefore one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this is not completely filled so we could write here as that is the, the 3d subshell consists of nine electrons and the 4s consists of two electrons but the main thing is this only as we understand that is the 3d and the 4s orbitals they have the energy difference which is very much less so that's the reason that one of the electron can be shifted to this orbital of 3d making 3d to have a stable electronic configuration because we understand that is if the d orbital is incomplete it is half filled or suppose if it is completely filled then only the d orbital it will be very much stable so that's the case that is one of the electron it will be shifted to this orbital and that is how basically the copper will have an electronic configuration which would could write it here as argon 80 3d10 4s1 
so that's the reason chromium and copper have abnormal electronic configuration so this was the reason and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you will share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe ikeda channel thank you so much